We've been talking about the fentanyl drug crisis. Certain harm reduction efforts like fentanyl strips are making headlines. And joining us now to discuss this is paramedic and founder of a nonprofit providing overdose community training, Matt Paul. Welcome to the show, Matt. Hey, thank you for having me. Matt, break down for us how these fentanyl test strips work. Essentially what they do is they check if drugs were adulterated with fentanyl. So someone using uh, substances that wants to know fentanyl's inside, they could get the strips from us uh, for free. We ship it to them and they could check their uh, drugs to make sure that there's not fentanyl in it. Or uh, once they're alerted that there is fentanyl in it, you know, make a decision of what to do from there. Matt, critics say the fentanyl test strips give people a false sense of security and aren't always reliable. So tell us what you're seeing in the field as a paramedic. I completely agree with that. Um, the strips are not FDA approved. They give a, a very rough picture of the situation. Um, fentanyl is so unbelievably dangerous, along with the analogs of fentanyl, that uh, you can't, can't rely on this simple test. Dr. Sportelli, what's your perspective on fentanyl test strips? This is obviously what we call harm reduction, right? Harm reduction is we know that there's a problem. We need to do something. We're not trying to solve the problem, but we're trying to reduce harm to the people that are going to use regardless of what we do. And I think that's a reality, right? That's a very important reality that we have to face. So we do have to take steps. So the fentanyl test strips, I think, and listen, I may be biased because I'm in the hospital seeing people overdose that tell me they had no idea what they were taking when they overdosed and almost died. So in my opinion, I support it 100%. I think it's a great way for people that are using illicitly. Now, look, perfect scenario, they don't use, right? Perfect scenario, exactly. we get them to rehab, we get them to detox, we get them to substance dependence programs. But in the case that they're going to use, test it, see what it is. And of course, they're not perfect, but at least it could give them a warning. You both make a great point. And Matt, thank you so much for dedicating your career to helping combat the war on drugs. You're saving lives, my friend. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.